Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and we take a look at another megahertz of spectrum. This one is an interesting one when propagation is there to help and it is the 21 to 22 megahertz range of the shortwave spectrum. So when the maximum usable frequency gets high enough there's actually a lot of things in here. The first chunk of 21 megahertz, 21 to 21 450 so that chunk is the 15 meter band of amateur radio. That chunk is what um, we can hear in the uh, bottom part of 21 megahertz. It's a 450 kilohertz wide amateur radio band divided into, of course, the same category. So the first chunk, 21,000 to 21060 roughly uh, a lot of that is CW or Morse code signals then you have digital modes roughly from 21070 to 21120 around there so you'll have uh, you know uh, for example FT8 on 21074 some radio teletype 21080 to 21100 uh, 21070 is PSK31, so these are the types of digital modes you can encounter here. A little bit more of Morse code also above. Um, I believe it is dedicated to uh, amateur radio operators that have slow speed Morse code. So the ones that you know are brand new and aren't really very fast on the CW mode. But above 21200, roughly, roughly, it you know there's no rules set in stone here. Uh, upper sideband, single sideband, amateur radio stations that you'll hear. So when propagation's right, you will hear stations here. And I've, over the years, listened to the 15 meter band a lot. It's one of the bands that I love to listen to on amateur radio. And when propagation is right, it's really, really nice to see this band open. Unfortunately, with solar minimum, this band has been very, very quiet lately. Uh, which is sad, but uh, you know, even with low solar activity, when there's contests, often you see that there are some signals there, but propagation is not all up it could be on this band. And the last chunk, there's a little bit of portion here, like 21, 430, 440. Uh, I've heard some AMers that actually like to use this band of uh, amateur radio for AM mode. So uh, that's really, really a nice chunk of amateur radio uh, bands. As we go above 21,450, now we will have what is the 13 meters international broadcast band. Roughly 21, you can actually say roughly 21,460, 470, all the way up to 21,800. You will have in there some uh, amateur radio some amateur radio, some international broadcasters. Now, there are some in the schedule that are using the 13 meter band. I've seen quite a few frequencies that are actually uh, posted for that frequency range. But due to propagation, it's not always easy to hear anything on this frequency range. Um, ma maximum usable frequency, often not reaching high enough to propagate it. But when conditions are right, you should tune from time to time. You might hear some international broadcasters. Uh, in the live show that I did this week, somebody was mentioning that he heard something on the 13 meter band. Uh, possibly WRMI, I think it's is using 21525. So from time to time it happens that it actually does propagate. And uh, finally at the top part of the band, like 27, 21, um, you know, 750 to 22 is a mixed band of utility signals. So all sorts of things are in there. And there's even some, uh, I've heard, uh, for example, uh, uh, Israel 4XZ station, sometimes in CW in that portion of the, the band. So there's a lot to listen to in that little megahertz range, even though you might be tuning regularly and saying there's nothing. Every day I tune and nothing is there. Um, it has a lot to do with solar activity being very low, but tune regularly. You'll be surprised. One day you'll tune and you'll say, hey, look at that. I'm hearing something. So uh, 21 to 21,450, 15 meter amateur radio band. 21,450 to 21,800 roughly is international broadcast band 13 meters. 
and uh, the rest of the band is kind of a few utility signals that can pop up here and there. Actually, there are some utility signals mixed in almost everywhere except in the amateur bands here. So uh, tune in from time to time, and uh, you'll be surprised. If you look at some of the videos from the past, when solar activity was higher, actually, you will see that I have logged several, a lot of amateur stations on 15 meters, um, and I've logged probably several international broadcasters using 21 megahertz. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and hope you enjoy our look, megahertz by megahertz, of the shortwave spectrum.